having this building in Gresham, in a central location, sort of in the downtown area of Gresham, has brought a lot of pride to the community. So not just our students and our teachers, but our families uh, feel a sense of pride, I think, when they drive up, drop their students off. And so then it, it, it kind of transitions into the classroom. It transitions to the hallway. I definitely think people are more excited to be here, more excited to get to come to school every day. And because they love the space that they're in, they're more respectful towards it. There's more of like, I care for my school, like I want to be here. It is brighter here. And I feel like it gives more positive spin on just learning. You hear from other people, wow, you go to Gresham, it's such a nice school, they just rebuilt it. And it makes, it gives you a sense of pride, like, oh yeah, I go there and I do well there. I really like the science rooms. I love science, like that's what I want to major in, biology. And so I love all the equipment that we have in science rooms. They've never been in a space like this before. It doesn't look like any science classroom they've ever been in. They're really excited and fascinated to get back there and just play with all the science things. We've got nine different lab stations here with multiple natural gas ports. Every group has their own sink, hot water, cold water. Two fume hoods instead of just one. Everything's passed through. Going from one chemistry space to now we have two. I would consider them to be all the way up to college appropriate uh, lab ready spaces, really allowing us to actually teach to the national science standard. We're just going to experience a lot more opportunities for students and their ability to get college credit or get college level experiences in terms of the rigor uh, of their classes and what we're exposing them to. This space is doing that and we couldn't do that in our, in our old building. I teach all the choir. I teach concert choir, treble choir, overtones, encore, Gresham men's choir, all the different ones. The facility was so inadequate. We didn't have practice rooms. We were in like a storage room to try to practice. The ceiling would leak. One time I came, my whole office was flooded. That happened a lot. The auditorium was way outdated. You know, you couldn't he hear anything. It was just kind of a big barn. The auditorium compared to the old school versus the new one is like insane. The seats are, first off, so much more comfortable than the old ones. And the sound in there is completely different. Like the choir, we don't need mics. Solos, you don't need mics really because the sound is so good. Like I've really enjoyed that. You could hear a pin drop all the way to the very back seat. It's, it's really incredible. I'm so excited to have other choirs and stuff here now because I wouldn't host anything. Like for the longest time, I just had to quit hosting because it just wasn't, the facility just wasn't there. I'm an alumni of Gresham High School, so I got to uh, live in the old building, so to speak, when I was a student. But now that I'm a teacher, a space like the Black Box is so top of the line in terms of what we're able to provide. Uh, an extra rehearsal room, a room that we didn't have before. And not only is it the room itself, but it's all of the sound equipment, the lighting equipment, the lighting board, the risers you have behind me for audience members to sit in when we use it as a performance space, the brand new auditorium with new seating, um, a fly system, which will allow us to be able to fly set pieces in and out, as well as backdrops, which we didn't necessarily have the ability to do before. In here, the women's dressing room, we haven't had something like this, like where each girl has an outlet, which is really important. Behind the auditorium, you have a new scene shop. I've actually noticed a huge increase in students being interested in technology. I had like over 50 people want to be a part of our crew for our show Midsummer Night's Dream which is huge numbers compared to what it has been in the past because typically people just want to be on stage. But I think with our new facilities like this black box where every day students are able to see 
Here's the sound system. Up top, there's a catwalk above us. They understand that, oh, I can do this. I can be a part of this and I want to. It's ultimately a better space. It's a better learning environment. It's a safer learning environment. I think they feel proud of it. They want to be here. The Gresham Automotive Program trains students for post-secondary training. However, I've designed the program to train students to be able to enter the job force right away, right out of high school. We had a shop, but it was a very small shop. Uh, we were at about 1,500 square feet. Compared to the new shop, we're at about 5,000 square feet. We have a lot more equipment, a lot newer equipment to use, a lot more emphasis on safety. We have you know, built-in eyewash stations. We have uh, ventilation systems for uh, vehicle exhaust. We now have state-of-the-art wheel alignment system. Wheel alignment machines are very, very expensive, and they take up a lot of space. Training students on this system can get them jobs right out of high school. My class numbers have gone up, and more students are interested. They see the space, they see how, how cool it is. I see a greater sense of pride. Uh, students are taking care of equipment. It's really important to have students engaged and paying attention. And so with modern equipment combined with the added safety features is uh, just a much better way to prepare students for the world of work. I think the greatest part about my space now is that I'm in the building. In the old building, I was in what we called the 500 building. I was outside, it used to be the wood shop, and then they tried to make it a tech lab, and it was never something that I had any ownership over. And having the chance to be in the building, to be next to the other CTE teachers, and be able to collaborate and talk has been really exciting. Because of the space, as students walk in here and they're excited about the new technology and they're telling me they, want to, they can't wait to learn this, when are we going to do this? I want to take that class. They see kids in the hallways, there's serious buzz, where are all these cameras coming from? Uh, and the kids are really excited about trying something they've never had the chance to do. I have two epilogue lasers and we're using that to take some of our print media uh, and create products out of them. So you're able to etch into glass and plastic. It's just this one extra thing that you can get a kid to suck into. And if they like that little piece, suddenly they're interested in learning something else and something else. I'm excited about getting a student to like to learn and want to learn anything in here that will benefit them in a future career. And now they have the space and the equipment to learn more so than we ever had in the past. Our previous space, we were actually outside of this building. Kids would have to come out through the weather, get out to us. We were also much smaller in terms of the layout. There were certain lifts that we couldn't do or they'd be so close to each other they didn't feel comfortable or it wasn't safe. So all that has been eliminated with this new space. Kids seem to be a lot more on task. It's a lot easier to move throughout the room and flow. I've been playing in that gym since I was five, so it was definitely an adjustment. I love how huge it is. It's a good environment to be in. There's a lot of seating. We have a nice weight room that overlooks it. You're gonna be able to host multiple youth basketball games at one time. You've got lowering baskets on one side, ability to have water close in the gym and refill the water bottle. We shouldn't even have these things in the other gym. Um, having the, the heating and air conditioning work. <laughs> these are all things that you just think, well, that should be, but just wasn't with our prior facility. You know, having an opportunity like this has been terrific. You know, fresh start. Hi, come on in. We used to have, I want to say it was 68 different entrances to the building. 68. I think we're down to three or four now. The security is so much better. Being able to lock our doors and kids have to either badge in or ring the doorbell to come in. So our campus isn't wide open to the public, especially being off the max line. So we're able to lock our campus up. It does feel more secure, but it doesn't feel like you're shut in. Cause it's like a lot of open windows, lots of like natural light, which I love. So I think that's really good. So you're secure, but you don't feel locked or trapped in. 
Now that we have cameras all over all the different parts of the school, um, it really helps us in feeling more safe and secure because we can go to one central location and kind of access all the different views. So I think it's definitely easier to monitor who comes in and out of the building. To be in a learning environment that is safer, that has new technology that we're able to continue to expand our students' knowledge, to give them the most up-to-date education as possible, we are setting them up for success. Our students are our customers and we want to make sure that they feel satisfied. Uh, we want to make sure they feel heard. Um, and I think this building was part of that, uh, making sure that this community felt heard. It makes us as students feel like we are seen and like we do have people looking out for us. It just makes me feel my education is being valued um, and I know that extends to some of my peers. Coming here in 2003 and working in that old building, people loved that school so much. They're gonna love this school just as much. Your kids are gonna have an incredible educational opportunity. We're gonna continue to see those benefits and it's gonna keep paying off and that the students that leave out of here feel that they were part of something, um, something bigger than just a school, but uh, the start of a new, a new trend here that makes every student feel welcome, wanted, and worthy when they're in this building.